traders from around the world, what's going on? It's your boy Ricky Cadden back again with another free Friday stock review from Real Life Trading Australia. Hope you guys are doing absolutely splendid. Today was a phenomenal day to wake up green. My gosh, team. Uh, the SPY, I did mention the other day uh, that we were looking a little bit, um, I guess, weak, but also uh, you look to protect yourself. This was what was going on. We got the increasing volume. However, Take a look at the shorter term moving averages, guys. We just came straight back down to this trend line that we're on and uh, staying above the 20 EMA. At this point, um, you can see if I just take a look at the VIX, you know, the volatility index, we are, I did mention we are picking up a little bit of heat. Um, but you know, we'll probably just trade a little bit sideways for now. Uh, but the majority, the majority of the markets, guys, is looking quite bullish, especially on the tech side. In fact, if you take a look at the Qs, the QQQ, you can see we created a brand new all-time high just last night. So absolutely phenomenal. Take a look at the E minis. Now the E minis did throw in a gorgeous little spinning top candle. Phenomenal volume. Uh, so at this point, guys, we'll probably just chop around a bit um, before we start to go higher. It is Friday, so there will be a little bit of selling. And it is uh, expiry month or the monthly expiries this week, the third Friday. So I do expect some selling to be involved with this one. Um, but here's AMD. Now, guys, this was our weekly options newsletter. Those of you who are subscribed and are a part of our community would have gotten this in your email. A uh, lot of happy traders uh, this waking up this morning getting triggered into the position and out of the position in the exact same day. You can see here we set it up on this day as a stop limit buy. So we didn't actually get triggered on this day or this day. Uh, but then we had this gorgeous little black candle gapping up, which is a gap and go. Phenomenal volume started to come in. As soon as we started to closing above here, guys, I was like, oh gosh. AMD is going higher. So AMD, although we do have a long day candle, guys, I do expect a little bit of a pullback, possibly like a 50% retracement of this particular candle. So look out for that possibly this evening. But well done to all the traders uh, at Real Life Trading that took this phenomenal 2R gain. I mean, buying for 250 and selling for $4, pfft, man, Massive returns on your investment. Here's Netflix. Now, guys, Netflix we did set up. I think I did speak about this one in the past. Um, but we did have this gorgeous high wave candle. And we got triggered in with a stop limit buy on this day. And then we've just been chopping sideways at this point. But, guys, we are building that pressure. We are failing to go lower. I do expect this to start to bounce. You can see if I zoom out here, we are getting this phenomenal little double bottom pattern happening. We've got the higher lows looking super, super fancy. And the long-term moving averages, I mean, we could definitely get above those. This is Netflix, guys. Um, so, yep. Well done to all the traders who are in. Let's keep on holding and keep rocking on higher. We've got a massive gap here that's possibly going to get filled. Uh, let's look to hold this one as long as we possibly can. Here's Square. Now, Square was just an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous fade. I mean, we came back down the previous day. If you take a look at the 15-minute chart, uh, we had, we, here's the 15 minute chart. We did gap down slightly, but as you can see, we came straight back down to a support level, opened above that, and had one more bullish candle, great volume, and I was like, well, this thing's starting to go higher. A lot of the tech moves started moving higher pretty much straight out the gate. Square was one of them. We are currently in a put sale for September. Uh, we'll most likely look to buy to close this when we get to the highs, uh, or if we take a look at the RSI here, if we get up to around the 70-ish area, which is possibly going to be around 260 and some change, I will look to buy to close that option for a nice, healthy profit. Here's the ASX 200. Now, the ASX 200, guys, is bullish. I have been mentioning this in all my latest videos. Um, look to be bullish. I did mention that there were some phenomenal opportunities, and uh, one of those opportunities was... Zipco, and I did mention this. If you do take a look at one of my previous videos, I mentioned that this candle should possibly not get taken out because of this volume. And you can see here, we really had this nice little retest and you know, picking up the volume here and a phenomenal white candle gapping up, retest gap, great double bottom. I mean, I do expect some sort of pullback. We've got the 100 simple moving average in our 
bases right now. So expect a little bit of a pullback and then uh, look to take zip co higher. Here is CBA. Now CBA forming a gorgeous evening star reversal pattern. Nice little selling volume. Uh, you can see here on the RSI we are a little bit extended and uh, currently getting that little bit of divergence here. Uh, sorry, a little bit of divergence here as you can see on the chart. But if you are owning shares, guys, in CBA, this is possibly a, a level where you would look to uh, maybe get into some sort of collar position, protect your downside, sell an out of the money covered call, protect with the put options, uh, or do a super collar, the old super collar, uh, which is a real life trading strategy. If you don't know what it is, email me and uh, I'd love to uh, teach you guys. But CBA, Right now, all-time highs, evening star reversal pattern. Look to either take your profits, take some take some profits off the table, move your stops, whatever it may be. Um, just make sure you do protect your downside because this is a very, uh, it's a bearish pattern. And uh, yeah, it looks very, very good. Here's APT. Now, APT, a lot of happy people with these buy now, pay later buy now, pay later stocks, you can see we did get, we have had some phenomenal bullish candles in a row, like absolutely insane. Uh, we have been bullish pretty much all of June and we are almost at the 20th. So, yep, currently at the 100 simple moving average, we did have a retest gap the other day. I do expect something like this to occur. I do expect a little fill, a little gap fill. But guys, we had this nice little double bottom pattern. We traded sideways, built pressure, and then look at this one white soldier candle with increasing volume uh, increasing volume that right there my friends is your signal to be long uh but yep apt a lot of happy traders well done to everyone who is holding after pay and being long here's crude oil now crude oil i did mention we're probably going to start having a pullback very very soon I've been mentioning this in my swing trading room. And uh, I mean, realistically, guys, we could really come back down to around 66. That is a previous level of resistance. So, but we do have um, some nice little hammer candles back here just a couple of weeks ago, around the 8th of June. So, you know, we probably will find a little bit of support here and uh, look to slowly start to bounce. If you take a look at the shorter term moving averages. You know, we probably come back down to the 20, maybe the 50 day EMA if we're lucky. Um, but right now, we do have a nice little evening star trading a little bit lower. And if you are trading futures, you can see here we are currently in a nice little cute little downtrend on the 15 minute chart. So right now, guys, make sure you are not overly bullish on crude. Now here's gold guys. Now gold has taken a little bit of a tumble. Uh, if you take a look at the daily chart, I did mention that we were probably going to bounce. Um, but right now we are all the way back down at a previous level of support. Long term moving averages, we're below them still. Uh, we haven't yet crossed over long term. But guys, if you're looking at a long term buying location, if you take a look at the RSI, I mean... Every time we've come back down to roughly this level, uh, this is where we have looked to bounce. So keep in mind, we are quite low. I know that, um, you know, gold will eventually slowly grind higher. Those of you who are in long-term shares, um, possibly just look to, uh, you could possibly look to add to a position on the bull side. But guys, I mean, look to buy the dip. If you take a look at the weekly chart too, by the way, the weekly chart, slowly coming back down to the 100 simple. Seems like a fairly decent long-term buying location to me. Here's the Aussie dollar. Now, the Aussie dollar also crumbling lower. I did mention uh, in my trading room, in fact, that... Uh, that the Aussie dollar is actually not looking that strong. That's the reason why back here, I did mention we're probably gonna trade sideways at this particular level. As soon as we started creating these lower highs um, and these lower lows, I was like, well, guys, we're probably gonna drop down to about the 200 simple moving average. And you can see here, guys, on the RSI, we are also getting very, very low. Dollar index starting to obviously heat up because of that as well. Um, but obviously here on the RSI being quite high, probably could come up a little bit more. Long-term moving averages, we are above them. I don't expect this to just launch to the moon. But, you know, we found support uh, back down at this level. I was actually hoping for this one to bounce. But we'll wait and see what happens. Gold and, you know, the, the dollar will obviously move inversely.
we'll just have to wait and see what goes on there. All right, guys. If you haven't yet subscribed to our Facebook channel, make sure you uh, click the link in the description below. Check it out. Get involved in the group. If you want to join our community, also go to reallifetrading.com.au. I would love to have you a part of our team. It's only $199 a month, guys. That AMD trade that we did back here, this would have paid... I mean, the last two weeks, we've absolutely been slaying the markets. Um, so if you guys want to... Make some money and have fun doing it. Uh, reach out to me. I'll leave my email in the description below as well. But guys, have a fantastic weekend. If you have any tickets you would like me to review, leave it in the comment section below. But until next time, love life, live life, and trade it. You guys rock. Bye.